Alright, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Terraforming Mars. It's a board game, turned digital, and also happens to be one of my favorite board games uh, that I've managed to play, especially in the last year. I I sort of own it, my brother owns it, but he said he was going to give it to me, and then I'll probably buy all the uh, the expansions pack expansion packs for it. But, quick rundown, it's a victory point style board game where you're trying to get as many points as possible in competition with all of the other players that you have uh, playing alongside you. There's very little that you can actually do to directly affect other players, which is kind of nice. And so for the most part, you're focused on improving your own setup and, you know, chases, chasing in as many points as possible. All the while, everybody is more or less working together to make Mars a better place. It's really neat, and like I said, I've played the physical version twice. Each round is stupidly long, so this might take a while. And, uh, only the base game, but I think that's what this is. So, I guess without further ado, let's just get going. Uh, corporate error rules. Play the extended ver variety of the game. Start with no resource production. What's standard? One of production for all resources and have access to your cards. Nope, corporate error rules. Raft variant on. No, oh, draft four cards to buy from, instead of drawing four to buy from. I have no idea what the draft variant is. Yeah, standard is baby mode. Yeah, I kind of, I kind of figured as much. I'm not sure about s draft variant here. Oh, draft doubles your your research phase instead of drawing four every round. Let's leave that off then. I'm, I'm trying to keep, uh, play as close to as what I played. Oh, draft, you draw four, keep one, pass it left. Oh, yeah, let's not do that. And let's do... Honestly, I'm just gonna comp stomp here for my first round. I think, I think that'll be good. And then I'll I'll up the difficulty if I think it's necessary. Okay, so I do not want a beginner corporation. Huh. Why are beginner corporations even available? Let's see. No, I haven't been any of either of these two. Inventric Inventrix or Phobolog. First action of the game, draw three cards, start with 45 money. Effect. Your temperature, oxygen, and o ocean requirements are plus or minus two steps. Your choice in each use. Oh, so slightly more flexible. Or your titanium resources are worth extra. I think my dad played Phobolog the first time. I... I feel like Inventrix would be a little bit more flexible and would start with a lot of extra cards and money to work with. But Phobolog makes space tag stuff insane. Let's go Phobolog. My dad played this and I wanted to try and make it better. Okay, so buy up to 10 cards. Oh, three each. I don't have a whole lot of money, however, but that's, that's okay. These cards could be a little bit bigger, but I guess I guess we can click on them to zoom in. So, urbanized area gives me a city, reduces my energy production by a step, and increases my money by two steps, places city. So, urban urbanized area is pretty good. Hey, why is this description... Okay, can I click on that? There we go. Place a city tile adjacent to at least two other city tiles. Oh, that's rough. So, effectively, I'd have to find... Two other cities would have to be down before I even get this thing down. That said, that's an incredibly cheap city. Because I think cities usually cost like 25 to put down on their own. So if I was patient put this thing down, it wouldn't be so bad. Uh, let's see. Business contracts. Look at the top four from the deck. Take two of them into the hand. Discard the other two. It's not bad for a cheap draw. Tech demonstration. Just draw two cards. So even cheaper. And I believe has... That's the space tag right there. Yeah? I think it is. And a science tag. Both of which are kind of useful. Unless those don't uh, don't stick around. Decrease energy production. Gain heat. 
look at the top card and either buy it or discard it. Now that's... This is a structure, not an event. So I could actually do this every round. Also, that's the creator of the game four times. <laughs> I drew this card the last game I played. Mining Industries. Hello, here we go. Increase your titanium production by two steps, near money production by two steps, and for every Jupiter tag, gain a point, I believe. Jovian tag. Okay, so we want this one no matter what. Because this is stupidly expensive, but I... I mean... I can't not go with that one. Uh, let's see. When you play an Earth tag, you... Pay less for that Earth office ain't bad. Uh, let's see. Tropical Resort. Decrease your heat production by two steps. Increase your money by three. That's eh, not that helpful. Anti-grav... Technology. Woo boy! So this one's amazing, but rough. Because it requires seven science tags to even put this, this thing down. What is the three? Oh, that's that's probably victory points. Yeah, I think. Yeah, so that that's probably the victory points right there. Anti-grav is your favorite card in the whole game. Always make it a personal goal to play it. I I don't think I got anti-grav last time, but I did go for a very very heavy science victory, and that was amazing. Imported hydrogen. Gain three plants. And add either three microbes or two animals to another card. Place an ocean tile. That's not bad. And it's got the space tag, so I could play it on the cheap. This is going to cost me... I don't have that much money, but I have a bunch of titanium, and I believe titanium is worth four instead of the usual three. So that more or less means I can put out IO Mining Industries for one cost, and that makes my, my setup good. Yeah, so why don't we why don't we grab Can I Okay, so I've got I wanna take a look. Yep. Okay. I wanna take a look at this. So urbanized area ain't bad, but kinda hard, doesn't synergize much with what I've got. I have technology demonstration for each uh for cheap cards. Yeah, let's grab that. IO mine, Mining Industries, Tropical Resort. No, no, no. We didn't have Tropical Resort. We have Earth Office and IO. I think I'm going to stay away from Science this time around. We have a couple, but that's going to be difficult. Okay. I'm just going to go with this. Uh, choose these corporate, this corporation and these cards. Sure. Okay, so I am probably green. I'm just looking at all of these things here. Where are the basic actions? Wow, they're just chucking water down left and right. Okay, it's my turn. So question, where are standard actions? See corporation information. Oh, let's see, no cards played. Yeah, not nearly enough info on what the others are playing. Yeah, I was hoping it would be slower or show the card. Like if it popped up and I could actually take a look at things. Okay, so here's the standard projects. So I can sell pat patents. I could buy power plants. That's actually not a terrible idea. But obviously a little late for me. Okay. Oh, here we go. So I can actually click on these? No, it just says three cards played. That's stupid. Or here we go. Cards played based on him. Cards played based on him. I... Okay, so it looks like mostly they're just buying water. This guy played underground detonation. Pays 10 money for two heat production, it looks like. So, spend 10 money to increase your heat production by two steps. Yeah, so that's exactly what he did. And the other guy... Yeah, it looks like they're mostly just buying aquifers more than anything else. Okay. Well, I want to start with... Where's my other cards? Well, I just want to start with IO Mining Production. 
Uh, let's see. So decrease cost by... Yeah, so we're going to have the cheapest IO mining industries right off the bat. This is going to completely kill my titanium stock, but that's okay. Okay, and what else can I do? Earth office is damn cheap, so I guess we're doing that. Either that or I could do tech demonstration. Let's start, let's just start with Earth office. It costs one. Okay, and turn. So, so far so good. Still wish I could see what my my opponents were playing. Because it just kind of is like, they did a thing. They did another thing. They did another th thing. And then that's just kind of the end of it. Okay, it's my turn again. I'm going to preemptively play this. Or do I want to wait? Because if I wait, I get the titanium. Yeah, let's let's actually... I don't think I need that right now. So I'm, I'm actually just going to pass. And we'll go from there. I should probably pay attention to what corporation these guys... Or did they all go beginner... No, they didn't go... This is Mining Guild. Mining Guild. Starts with extra steel and steel production. Every time you get steel or titanium as a placement bonus on the map, increase your steel production by a step. That's actually kind of good. Okay, so that was that was the end of it. Generation two. I gotta give him credit. This is fairly snappy. Uh, let's see. So we can buy some cards. So we're looking for stuff like big asteroid. Let me take a look. So this requires at least one of these. It's worth three victory points. Not really what I'm going for. Reduced power. Gain heat. Reduce cost of next card by eight, but at the cost of one victory point. That's a bit rough. I like Big Asteroid, so we're just gonna buy Big Asteroid because I can. I can just. I mean, I, I can't just get it for free, but I can. I can definitely get it cheap. It would be. Almost smart to get indentured workers, but indentured workers, that's only a five discounts. No. Nah, it ain't worth it. Let's grab these. And they're just going to go for a bit. Oh, I guess I get to go second now. That's a good feeling, sort of. Man, I, I will say... Beyond everything, this does go a hell of a lot faster on uh, on the digital version. Trying to wait for four human beings, maybe that's it. That I'm playing with AI that go hella fast, so I'm the only one that's slowing things down. Because I know playing this in multiplayer was straight up just like, okay, pass, pass, you know, just everybody considering their cards... And I, I would go sometimes 10 minutes without taking a turn. Then again, we were also very new to the game, so there was that too. Okay, uh, let's see. So we got a big-ass asteroid. Uh, do we drop the asteroid? If I drop the asteroid... Okay. I can decrease the cost. Who has... Plants. Oh, I see. So the, the number up top is production. So Thorgate... What is Thorgate? Start with energy production. Whenever playing a power card or the standard project power plant, you pay less money for it. That's decidedly okay. What's Saturn Systems? Start with titanium production and money. And every anytime you play a Jovian... Oh, wait... Each time any Jovian tag is put into play, including this one, increase your money production by one. Oh, shit. Wait, that's only for him? Or is that for anybody? Because that's terrifying. 
Well, whatever. It's an EA. Uh, it's an AI, so I should be able to get around. Uh, let's see. So, the only person that has any plant tags, oh, is Saturn Systems. So why don't we, why don't we drop a big asteroid? Why don't we drop a big asteroid on them? So let's decrease the cost, get it down to nineteen. Play that big asteroid. Okay, and yeah, let's let's hit Saturn Systems, and then that gives me a little bit of money and a lot of titanium. So we're gonna decrease this cost, draw two cards, do a tech demonstration. Gets me two new cards. What are two new cards? Satellites, which is just, uh, excuse me, is that not it's stupidly amazing? Increase your money production by one step for each space tag you have, including this one. Oh. Well, okay. So that is amazing, but I might not want to use it yet. I don't know what that little red symbol is. Uh, how many space tags do I have? Six. I've got two. I got two space tags. I might want to hold off on that and do imported hydrogen first. The one problem is I wouldn't be able to add microbes or animals to another car. But I'd be able to get a little bit. Oh, I don't have any actions left. End turn. So I gotta wait. It's fine by me. Let's see. Yeah, everybody's just dropping down trees and stuff. Really early, too. I think the easy AI might be straight up brain dead, but I also don't care that much. So the question is, do we do imported hydrogen? We'll lose out on the microbes, but that's a space tag that we kind of want to use. Let's keep reducing this cost. Imported hydrogen, dirt cheap. I think I'm just going to... Uh, let's see, what do I have? I don't I don't think I have any standard projects that I am capable of using and nothing else that I can do. So action one and few view game state. Oh, oh, oh gotcha. I get to put stuff down here. So do we want two titanium? Do I want a card? It's really tempting to go for the card. I see, I'm in the putting down water phase. I was wondering about this. It's tempting to go for the two titanium or the card. I'm gonna go for the card. Okay. Uh, let's see, select one, so I want plants. Close it to that. I still have other cards. Restricted area, I think I'm just too poor for this. Spend, wait. Oh, spend two money to draw a card. So that's just an action that I can use. Woo, that's good. And you place the restricted special tile. Yeah, I'm holding on to that one. Science tag, but that's okay. Uh, do I want to skip my action? So yeah, I don't think I can, I can't play any of those and I don't have any other standard projects that I'm capable of doing. It's halfway tempting to sell the building industries. Actually, no, it's not. That'd be a bad idea. I'd probably actually want to get my hands on a on a power plant and then that building industries for the extra metal production. Okay. Uh, let's see. So standard projects. I think everything is too pricey for me. And unless I really wanted to sell one of these, but nah, I don't. I'm just going to pass my action. So, for people that are just joining us now, seeing as I kind of was talking about this earlier, this is Terraforming Mars. It's a digital board game version of, well, the actual physical board game. It's a victory point deck builder board game where you're effectively trying to terraform Mars and be the most successful company to do so. And it's really unique. I don't know. I like it a lot. Let's see. So, copy a building... Probably copy a building effect. We probably want methane from Titan. The one problem is that's... Okay, I want to take a look at these. Ooh. Protected habitats is really good, actually. 
Opponents may not remove your plant, animal, and microbe resources. So, not exactly the kind of thing that I'd normally care for, but still good. Methane from Titan, minimum 2% oxygen. What are What's our oxygen at? 2%, actually. I think? Yeah. So... I could absolutely do this. Question is, if I bought protected habitats, that would mess me up, yeah? Because if I buy this, that's going to leave me at 29. No, I I could still I could still buy protected habitats. Alternatively, hold up. What are tardigrades? Action add a microbe to the cod. Hard. Ooh. Honestly? If I select these three, it'll cost me nine, leaving me with... Leaving me with 23. But with the two titanium... I'd be able to get up to 31? Yeah, so let's go with that. Robotic workplace could be really cool. It does come with a science tag. I guess I have to ask my, myself, do I want to go for the tardigrades as a victory point generation thing? Admittedly, I'm only going to be able to generate a couple, and I'm not even sure if people are going to be able to mess around with my my dudes that much. So protected habitats might be not that amazing. I don't have anything with an earth tag. Do I even have any... Direct buildings. Because the other thing we could do is just say, screw it on the tardigrades and the protected habitats and head entirely for restricted area. Now let's just skip these. Let's skip these entirely. I want the robotic workforce though. Nah, let's just go for Methane from Titan. And immediately pop it. Because satellites, I'm still killing time a little bit on. Okay, let's decrease that cost. This only costs 20. That'll save me... That'll leave me with 9. Okay, so now I've got a heat production of 2. I don't remember. How does this work? As an action, eight heat resources may be used to increase temperature. And as a plant action. Okay, so I still have nine. But I need power. So I think I'm kind of out of commission for at least the next round. But this does put me in a nice spot. Now, it wasn't Thorgate. It was... Jovian Industries. Or Saturn. So it looks like the... Every time a Jovian tag is put into play, that might just be... their own production and not my... not mine. I think this is how it works. Or is it just they get one? Wait, hold up. I'm trying to figure out this guy. No, it increases their... Production, so maybe it just doesn't count the cards I play. Or maybe I'm just underestimating how many of these have actually been... Jovian. Uh, cost? No, that's a that's a Jovian card right, right then and there. So, yeah, I guess it only counts their own. Oh, I'm too poor to pl play any of these. I want to put down Restricted Area, because being able to buy cards for... Less is very important. 
Okay, uh, so I'm just gonna pass my turn. I'm already in a happy, happy position. Let's see, what milestones do we have? Oh, wait, no, these are the ones that we have to buy into, don't we? Or, no, no, no. Awards are the ones that we buy into. I mean, technically, both are. Okay. I can't wait until I get my, my camera set up, because then I'd actually be able to record, like, the physical version of this. That said, I, I'm still going to say this, like, this digital board game version is actually pretty solid. Uh, let's see, so what do we want to grab? So, giant ice asteroid. I, I'm going to have to take a look at that. Take a look at these. So, two water... <laughs> is my strategy at this point going to be just chuck asteroids at the planet? Crash it. The bigger, the better. I'm not going to lie. It's an it's not a terrible idea. Uh, let's see. Look at the top three from the deck. Take one of them into hand and discard the other two. Or... Let's see. So I would have been able to get this. Yeah, so I could have actually done... In one plant, or add microbes to another card. So I could have actually gone full tardigrade here. That would have worked. Anyway, I'm grabbing I'm grabbing the giant asteroid. We're just going to meme, meme our way to, to victory here. With big, giant rocks sent towards Mars. Especially because we're about to run out of water water spot, spots on the planet. Let's see, which version is the uh of this uh, which version is this game? This is just the base game as far as I know. I don't think they've added any of the DLCs to the digital version. I certainly hope they would, and do sooner than later. Cause the DLCs looked awesome. You have to buy both milestones and awards, but if you buy the milestone, it's guaranteed in the award. You just have to have the most of. Yep. I just had to remind myself of the terminology. Okay, so time for a giant er ice asteroid decreasing that cost because it is expensive as hell. Okay, so what do I got? I'm going to want double titanium. Uh, let's see. Who am I going to knock down? Well, I don't want to cost myself plants, so let's knock down Thorgate. But I thought it was supposed to give me two. Wait, what the? Oh, god damn it. I don't think it actually... Hmm. I don't think it actually took into account my... I'm out of water. Oh, we are out of water. Okay, I was like, there's still water tiles, though. But yeah, you're right. Okay. Miss that. So do we want to do satellites at this point? I think I do. Uh, I'd, I'd like to keep waiting. But how many... Sp do I seriously only have three space tags? Oh, because you know what? All those events that I've been chucking down are temporary. So I only have... What? Didn't I have spy five space tags? But yeah, there's only uh, nine water in the game. Once it's gone, it's gone. Yeah, I'm used to having the physical tiles. I don't know. Anyway, if I go by based on tags... Do these not count? Well, in one way or another, I probably should play this.
Mainly because we just need that money. Yeah, I'll I'll just go with it. Okay, and next up we'll get the uh, restricted area down. One way or another, I'm feeling pretty good about things. What are what are my productions at? Because I think I achieved I I think I achieved a temperature gauge increase. Did I not? No. Guess I didn't. All right. Anything else? No. I can't do anything. I only got one one coin to me. One coin to my name. But my money production is nice, nice and through the roof. Okay. Oh, that's neat. You can see Ganymede Colony all the way back out there. So what do we want? I've got research, which is two science tags and lets me draw two cards. Uh, Wait, hold up. What's up with this? Must have titanium production. Decrease any titanium production by one step. Increase own by one. So 100% on that one. What else do we have? Spend an energy to draw a card. Hmm. Okay. So the question here is, do I want to increase my power generation by two steps? These are pretty good. Research is not quite worth it, but the victory point plus the two science tags makes it, pushes it over the edge. Dev Center is kind of nice just for free cards. I'm trying to decide how greedy I want to be here. Because I like all of these. The extra titanium production is nice. Admittedly, we don't have anything to do titanium on right now. And I want to have enough money to put down at least two things. So this will put me down to 21. I should probably cancel out of one. I think in that case, let's cancel out of... Oh, uh, do I want to cancel out of research? Because artificial photosynthesis is... That two power production is pretty good. Especially because then I can use it with the dev center to just draw a free card every round. We don't need to get the dev center down immediately. We could do artificial photosynthesis. Yeah, this would leave me at 21. My brain says don't use research. But the two science tags victory points and just two free cards without effort. Yeah, I'm going to leave I'm going to leave that behind cuz this will leave me at 24 which lets me put down a bunch of cards. Research would be nice, but I'm looking for more consistent growth or usage. Or I don't know. Sustain is important to me. Okay. Wait, acquired company green card? Wait, did they... They didn't jack a card for me. No, they didn't. Okay, I'm confused about what that one exactly meant. Okay. Next up. So, first and foremost, we want to put a couple of things down. Uh, I'd like to do restricted area. I'd like to do artificial photosynthesis. We don't actually need the asteroid mining company right now. So, why don't we... 
Why don't we do restricted area? Use that. Now I could draw a card. Or I could just be mean to somebody. Or we could go for some free metal. Ooh. Can I go back? No, I don't want to go back to menu. Because if I got two metal, I'd actually be able to... Oh, it's like a mild discount. Let's do that. Okay, so that gets, gets me two of these. It means I can put a forest down. Oh, I have to put it near one of my cards. That's the one trade-off. I guess I'll get it on top of that. Because that way I can chain up to maybe a Kreis Mons. Maybe. Okay, don't have any other actions, but that's fine. Let's see. So... I'm not going to say I have a commanding lead, but I'm not too concerned. I should get a city down at some point, though. Alright, so what do I got? I've got 13 months on me, so I could get the uh, Asteroid Mining Consortium. I could get the Development Center, but I think I want... I think I want this. Oh. No, 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 no. If I gotten the two metal... I would have almost been able to get building industries, but it wouldn't have mattered. So let's play that. Now the question is, do we want two power or one leaf production? The answer is two power. Because that'll let me use... Uh, that'll let me actually raise the temperature. Is this going up quick? Wow, they're going fast. Uh, well, I can't do anything. See, isn't this a base builder? I'm confused. Everybody is showing up to this thinking I'm playing Surviving Mars, but this is Terraforming Mars, which is a board game. Okay, so... I'm rich as hell. Comparatively. I'd like to make more money than this, though. Let's see, so I can draw things. Rad suits. At least two cities placed. Increase my money production by one. Well, that's good. What else do we have? Uh, let's see. Add one microbe to the card or remove three microbes to increase your terraform rating by a step. Oh boy. That would have been good. Shuttles! Minimum 5% oxygen. Okay. When you play a space card, you... Pay less money for it. Yeah, that's really good. And small animals. Add an animal to the car. Minimum 6% oxygen. Does decrease my plant production, but I don't really care about plant production as much. Oh, boy. So, we want rad suits, and shuttles will be very good, but we need a little bit more oxygen. I'm trying to decide with small animals... You know, honestly, at that point, at that price point, small animals is worth it. I like the idea of nitrite reducing bacteria, but... I don't think that's going to help me that much. So you actually have this board game at home. You just haven't had the chance to play it. It's worth it if you get the chance. It's it's just good. I don't know. Okay, it's my turn. So first and foremost, we want to get the rad suits down. Uh, we want to get the dev center down. How much money do I have? I got 25. So we can do the dev center... Building Industries and Rad Suits. That sounds good. 
Okay, so I have actions now. So I, I can actually pay a small amount of money as well to draw a card. Oh, let's see. I might as well do so. Okay, no, no turns left. I kind of should have actually taken a look at it, but still. You just only have people over once per year who want to play it. Yeah, see... I don't know. Uh, that's part of the reason why I picked this up. Because I played this with my brother and it looked... I mean, it was rad. And I was just like, it would be... It'd be fun to actually get the chance to play this a little bit on my own. Okay, so what the hell is this thing? Giant hole. Okay. I don't have much money, but that's unsurprising. Hey, I can get shuttles! And shuttles wouldn't cost a dang doodle. I mean, it'll cost two. Let's play shuttles. First my power production by a bit, but that's okay. What else do I want to get down? I don't have any metal. We want to get small animals down, so let's let's plop that. And this gets me a lot of actions. Oh. I can just hurt somebody else's. I don't actually have to hurt my own. Yes! I was wondering about that. Okay, I can keep ending my turn. I have a lot of things that I can do now. Oh, it feels good. I don't have much board presence, and there's a very real possibility I won't. I'll... Maybe next turn, I'll just force buy a city right here. Just to capitalize on those trees. Okay. Oh, insulation. Minus heat production. Gain money. Interesting. Oh, did somebody take away my heat production? They must have. That's fine, I guess. All right, so let's gain an animal. And let's gain a card. Do we? I only have six. Then we're going rad suits. I want that money production more than anything else. Okay, and I don't think I have anything else I can do. Yeah? Alright, pass. Yeah, somebody jacked my heat production. I wish it had alerted me when that happened. But, oh well. I don't actually care that much. And I start first. Okay, so we do not want the lake. What's this? Two signs tag. Place a greenery tile, raise oxygen by a step. Gene repair. Cost, uh, requires three science tags. How about I... I'm good on that. And power grid. How many power grid? Okay, so power grid seems like it would be amazing, but not really that useful for me right now. I think I'm just going to grab gene repair. And call that close enough. Because power grid would be useful, but I don't have any power, power cards. Okay, so I start. I have 33 muns. Don't have much for heat production. I'm just going to... Raise the temp... I could raise the temperature now. What else can I do? Just pop gene repair now? Let's just do that. And actions. I'm gonna do one power for a card. I have no idea what said card's going to be. Ice cap melting. It's almost tempting to sell off building industries and ice cap melting at this point. I just don't think I'm going to use them. But I can't I can't sell anything. So we're just going to wait. Shoot, I should have bought that city. 
I was being slow. That's okay. I... I'm pursuing other victory points, even if it's not a good idea. See, now I'm seeing their cards pop up. I don't know what caused that to happen. It's almost inconvenient. It also does not stick around for very long. Okay, it is my turn. So... I got 21, so I can't I can't afford a city right now even if I wanted to. And that's okay. Uh Do I sell insulation as well? Tempting. Discard one or more cards to gain one. So I could get just enough money to buy a city. Let's hold off on that. Okay, power plant. Easy peasy. Gets me that power production I'm I'm kind of looking for. All right, yeah, let's let's get the power plant down. And then I'll raise the temperature. I've got a lot to do every round, but that's that's okay. I said the enemy. Oh, the reason why I don't have enough time to read read what's going on is because I set animations to fast. Also, this would be a very good spot to put a city down. I don't think I have enough. I've only got 15. Well, you know what? Go for broke. Like, I just don't care. Uh, let's see. So... I have 13. We could go for the asteroid mining camp. Or... A asteroid mining consulate thing. So we don't really need the metal. I'm not using it that much. Oh, but it would help. Both would help. Yeah, let's let's get this down. Okay, and who do we hurt? We hurt Saturn systems, of course. And I still have another action. I could get insulation for one extra money production. We could just create the animal. Let's use it. The heat production would be nice, but we're Getting pretty close to heat cap anyway. So I'd rather just uh, take what I can get now. And at this point, we might want to start doing victory point chasing. What milestones do we have? Oh, he already got Gardener. Eight building tags. 16 cards in your hand. Mayor, Terraformer, nobody's there. Landlord, Scientist. So scientist might not be a bad idea. Could go, you know, I could just save my heat. Okay, uh, let's see. So I got, I got those down. So, do I want to convert the heat for one? Oh, somebody already bought banker. Let's see, have the most steel and titanium resource. So I might want to buy miner then. Uh, let's see, let's grab this. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna pop the heat. And we'll just end turn. I don't think there's anything else I can do at this point. So yeah, I want to work on my income. See if I can get that higher. Might want to start buying those awards, because I'm... I'm certainly in a commanding lead for a number of them. Yeah, I figured heat hoarding probably wasn't going to do me any favors. 
other people have been focusing on that. I might might have currently been in the lead, but it was not going to last. Okay, so open city. That might not be bad. We're getting there. Industrial microbes. Fungus. Okay, let's take a look at these. So, adaptation technology. We saw that earlier. Works for scientists. Industrial microbes. Increase your energy production and steal by one each. Open city. Requires 12% oxygen. Decreases your energy production, increases your money, and gain two plants. Just plants. Okay, we want to grab open city. Baseline, that's an incredible card. And we're getting to the oxygen limit. It gets a little tight, but that's okay. Add a microbe to another card. Yeah, so if I had gone microbe, I would have actually been in a very, very happy position. Do I want to go industrial microbes? I'm mixed. I don't really need that. It's a victory point, yeah, but I don't think I need it. I'm going to grab the industrial microbes, just because. But yeah, I might want to spend this round buying awards, specifically. Okay. The oxygen is still... Wow, heat is going up. And it's my turn. I got 34 muns. I don't have much. Let's take a look at awards. Oh, so Landlord and Banker have been bought. So in that case... Oh, this is expensive. We should probably buy one or the other. I'm going to get the Scientist Award... Should have started with that a long time ago, but that's okay. And... I guess I'm gonna get this. It's cheap. We don't have a whole lot of turns left. The red just bought Landlord. Kind of figured as much. Yeah, hopefully they don't go all bananas on trees and push us from, like, 11 to 14 in one round. Because that would get risky and bad. But I've still got things I can do, so let's... Let's keep generating cards. Hired Raiders. Steal two steel or three money from a player. Huh. We also got bushes. Minimum 10%, uh, 10 degrees temperature. Increase your plant production by two. Gain two plants. Useful. Actually, very useful. Alright, let's end turn. I still have some cards I should probably, should have probably sold on the last round. But that'll be okay. So it looks like Temp has has completely capped out. Okay. So everybody else has passed their turn. So let's let's sell some patents. Specifically ice cap melting. Okay, next up, hired raiders. Yeah, let's do hired raiders. We can okay. We can steal some money, uh, some some metals from mining guild. And turn. Okay. So open city. A. Yep. So my my decision to go for the metals is slightly better. I can still go for the animals. 
and the rest of this is too expensive. I don't think there's anything else I can do, so skip turn. And pass turn. Oh, I'm in the butt end of the turn order, but kind of worth it. So hopefully we can get up to 12% oxygen this round. What do we have here? So trees, not bad. Great escarpment. Hello. When you play a space event card, gain money and heat. Man, that would have been incredible a long time ago. We do not want the nuclear zone. Great Escarpment Consortium. Be nice, I just don't know if it's really useful at this point. Trees might not be terrible. Uh, do I go late game plant spam? I could. It's not going to cost me too much. And these guys do not have much much for resource production. Purple is catching up on Banker, though. But with open cities, I should be okay. Is that another tree somewhere? I heard noises. Oh, I have a tree. I do have a tree. Okay. We also have trees, bushes, industrial microbes. I've got lovely bunch of coconuts. It's all kind of expensive. So, optimal arrow breaking ain't the most useful yet. Maybe ever? Got a couple of questions here. I could just chuck a city down. For better or worse. But I don't want to. I'd like it there. Does anybody else even have money? Yellow does. Red does. So there there is a potential for one of these one of these jerks to just toss a city down and I won't be able to Ah, but this isn't even much to capitalize on. So why don't why don't I why don't I play it boring? I'm gonna use my actions to draw cards. Okay, there we go. So, we just got a lot of trees down. Oh. They're going bananas with those trees. Alright. Well, I'm not against... Oh. Round's ending after this. Uh, let's see. Open city. We want to use the lot of these. Okay, so let's put that down there. Might as well create some plants, make a greenery. I'm gonna... I think I'm in a relatively good spot. I actually have no idea what cards I just drew. But getting that city down was important. I'm assuming it's it's over at the end of this, yeah? Game ends when these are full, yeah? I think they are. Okay, so we do not want to pass our turn because that would be insane. That would be insane. Uh, 
<sighs> so the question is, what milestones do we have? Can we have? Everybody only has one city. I'm lagging a little bit there. Scientists, I'm in the lead on. Banker, I'm on, in the lead on. Landlord, I am not, but that's okay. Okay, uh, let's see. They've passed their turns entirely. And I've got a lot of money that I can just kind of chuck around. Uh, we should probably... I guess in this case... I'm going to put down the security fleet. Uh, I guess we might as well use all of our titanium on it. Because I don't think we have anything else that's going to use titanium. Except for the security fleet itself. Okay, next up we're going to do trees. I'm just farming for victory points at this point. Uh, let's see. Then everything else, I'm going to have to wait. Okay. So I could give, give myself two bushes, but I don't think that's going to help that much. I've still got a lot of titanium. So let's get a ship, which gets me a victory point. Now let's get an animal. And my turn. Okay, so next up, power infrastructure probably isn't going to help me that much. I'm just going to play that for free. Because, yeah, we didn't end up going for minor. And apparently everybody already spent all of theirs anyway. Uh, let's see, milestones... Yeah, I just don't think I'm going to get any of these. Nor is that really much of an issue for me. What's this do? Spend any amount of energy to gain any amount of money. Well, that's actually pretty good. I guess I'm just going to gain bushes. Yeah, bushes would have been really nice. I, I would have been able to just jam down some trees for a while. But the game did not last nearly long enough for that. And in turn. Was that it? No? It's gotta be. It just disappeared. So we're probably just doing production phase to see if we get any tiebreaker resources. You can convert... Up to one uh, one plant into a greenery. Hey, so the bushes were a good idea. Because that gets me some extra victory points. Bam. Okay, so my terraforming ra rating was not amazing. Let's see. Greenery. Oof. My city was pretty good. Victory points, though. Holy shit, I cleaned house there. <laughs> Alright. I was a little worried about it up until that very last little bit. And then it's like, nope, never mind. Problem solved. Okay, I, I did get points through awards. So greenery was definitely an was definitely an issue for me, but otherwise, I actually I actually did pretty well there. Let's go back to the main menu. Victory points are OP. Yeah, they are. That was fun. I and a lot a lot shorter than last time. I think that was about an hour. Not bad. I I heard some kind of iffy things about this game, and I had originally kind of passed on it. Uh, the digital version, not the board game. Because uh, I played the board game, I'm like, oh, cool, there's a digital version. Oh, boy, those reviews don't look good. It looks like they've patched whatever issues there are. I haven't done online multiplayer, but, like, if you want to, if you want to, like, basic encounter on how to, how to play Terraforming Mars, 
or encounter a, a basic way to play terraforming mars on your own this is not a bad bad game to pick up and it's like i bought it for about eight bucks i think i i think i think it was 60 percent off and that's probably going to be how cheap it is by christmas so like I, worth it in my head <laughs>